definitely wins this matchup, but we'll see what my ankles brings to it. He's, he's a character specialist, so I'm sure he has the Lucina experience. And Smashville for game one. Okay, we go in some shades of Smash 4 here. Good patience there to wait out the, the, the Dancing Blade. Whiffs on the command grab there. Ooh. And right now it looks like uh, Hot Dog is winning the neutral. Oh no, he doesn't have a jump. Ooh, this is scary. I like the early upbeat there. You know, Lucina was a little aggressive with the edge guard on the down smash. It was already done by the time he was able to get there, but man, 102% already on my ankles. Good upbeat out of shield coming over from Hot Dog. Let's see how he gets out of this corner though. Good patience from uh, Hot Dog to shield the, the down beat from Ganador. How's he gonna get back? Oh, another high recovery. Good job fastballing to get past that forward smash. That would have certainly been the stock, especially at this percent. Now here's the thing. Ganondorf only has to hit you a couple times, and there you go. <gasps> Ooh, that was that could have been it. Ooh. Neutral there will guaranteed kill at this percent. And that's it. I'm a prophet. <laughs> and that 143, not looking so bad. Smart, not holding shield, knowing that Lucina has a move literally called Shield Breaker. Has to use the second jump early, but gets back to save safely. Wonder if he's looking for a cheeky side B here to try to take a full stock advantage. Ooh. 69%. And Lucina is in kill range again, and the forward smash will take it. My ankle's putting on a clinic of what to do with Ganondorf's rage. And up air will take the first stock here, but a full stock up now is my ankles after taking a really early deficit. Now it's Hot Dog that needs to try to clean up a quick sock. All right, fourth hit of the Dancing Blade's gonna knock him away. 50%, not bad. And Gandorf is somewhat exploitable off stage with a very linear recovery, so. Ooh, that shield's looking real small though. He's gotta be careful. Neutral air is going to get him off of him for now. Oh, that's the problem with Dancing Blade. If you start the move too far away at higher percents, they can pop out of that fourth hit. Oh, oh man, forward smash was not the follow up there at that percent. The spike on down air just knocks him a little too high. Usually you want to go for up tilt, maybe an up smash if you're feeling cheeky. Oof. That will take it. The aggressive forward smash from my ankle is gonna get punished, and we have ourselves a relatively even game. I say relatively because Lucina is in kill range now. <gasps> oh, is he gonna get it? Oh, he went for it though. I respect it. Zero percent though, but he is off stage, and that is not where you want to be as Ganondorf. Is he dead? No, he's coming back. And Ganondorf is only at 30, but this is still scary because his offstage presence not that great. Hot Dog could have been punished really hard there for going past the ledge. Ankles gave him a little too much room, though. Is that going to do it? The jab's going to take it. OK. So my ankles is going to take game one. And need I remind you, he was down a considerable amount of percentage in that first stock, but percentages don't matter to Ganondorf because the comeback factor is real. I mean, when you only need to land three hits to take a stock, you really don't worry about this minor stuff. Let's see, are we gonna see character switch? Nope, Hot Dog sticking with the Lucina. And the best color, might I add, the Sumia alt. Shout outs to Fire Emblem Awakening. All right, so game two, we're gonna go to Battlefield. Definitely a good pick for Lucina. Loves the platforms, can shark with the up air, up tilt, and the Nair train. All right, takes it. Similar to the first game, takes a real quick early lead. I don't know about the, the down smash. Oh, was able to get him with the, the back air before Ganondorf could tech on that top platform. And again, this is still very identical to that first game, so let's see. Oh, hey, we take those. Hot Dog will certainly take that. We got the flame choke. Not able to get anything off of it, though. And a little slow on the, the up air after the dash attack, so Hot Dog was able to get away from that. Good patience not to try to push the advantage with him in shield with the Dancing Blade. He's able to get a grab off of it. 
since my ankles is holding the shield. And this is looking like a much better game. Oh, it's a good thing my ankles didn't go for shield there. A much better game for Hot Dog, though. And with a full stock lead, he can kind of take a few more risks. Ooh, that was close. Pretty much any other stage, that probably would have been a stock. Oh, that is not a trade my ankles wants, though. That was, <laughs> that's if, if, if you're a hot dog, you're taking that as a win. Ooh, this is scary, though. Just the kill power that Ganondorf has. No lead is safe. <gasps> Ooh, slightly missed times on that. Nair is going to get him off stage again. And just like the first game, my ankle's doing a really good job of keeping this game close despite the early deficit. Instead of just some percentages, he was down a whole stock. And let's see what Hot Dog does to try to capitalize on that lead. Only one stock left. He's looking good, getting 70%. And these platforms really helping him out. Ganondorf is having trouble getting back to the bottom of the stage. Oh, and the air dodge is going to save him. Oh, no. I think he had a second jump, but he upbeat a little too early after doing the second jump. That happens to me more often than I'd like to admit. That's going to do it. Another ultra high recovery for my ankles gets punished. And Hot Dog will take game two, courtesy of a bit of a, a gift from my ankle in the form of that SD. But again, we take those. So game three, let's see what the stage pick's going to be. I imagine something a little more flat. Final Destination, maybe Unova. Maybe Yoshi's Island Brawl. I could see that as well. A Mushroom Kingdom. OK, Yoshi's Island Brawl. That, that's not a bad pick, because the Lucina doesn't like those little slants at the very edge of it. It can mess up her edge guards if she tries to go with down tilt. Like, she has to be on the slant to actually clip with down tilt there. So this, this is actually a really good pick. I like this. But that middle platform is good sharking material for her when she's got center stage. But as always, the action, not the stages, are going to dictate the winner of this one. Uh, pretty even neutral to start. Both players getting a couple hits in. Ooh. Hot Dog uh, went a little aggressive there, tried to catch a low recovery, but my ankle's going high. Not getting caught by it. And he's doing a really good job of making use of that neutral air this time around, too. Lucina's neutral air is really good. Oh, man. I think he buffered that. I don't think he wanted that up be out of shield there. Ooh, that would have killed. A uh, little, little late on the punish there from the up smash. He's going to get himself a palm to the face. And my ankles will take the stock with the forward air. I like it. Most uh, people will shield after taking a stock, expecting aggression. Hot Dog knew that was coming, so he just decided to get the free damage from the grab. Oof. My ankles is piling on the percent now. Hot Dog has to find a way to take this first stock. Because uh, he is in kill range, and these uh, blast zones are pretty close to the edge of the stage, so Ganondorf could kill pretty early. I like the up -bees. It's not quite going to kill yet, though. But the back air will. Caught my ankle sleeping on the, the recovery there. But he is at 90%. Oh, and he goes for the shield break. I like it. My ankles has been shielding quite a bit. So that would have been a really good shield break. That would have got him, you know, a full stock lead. And now he finds himself on his last stock, possibly of his winner's run. Flame choke, command grab, going to get through the shield. Good grab to punish. I'm pretty sure my ankles was going to go for a jab after landing with the, the neutral air. So that was the perfect option to prevent that from coming to fruition. Oh, he's just struggling to get some hits in now. Down, now at 80%, a lot of Ganondorf's moves will kill at this percent now. Just goes for the, the back throw just to get him off stage. Oh, doesn't connect with the second hit of neutral air. That definitely would have helped him with the stage control. Oh, and he's just swinging now. He's just 
trying to get something out there to take that stock, but my ankles with the aggression on the forward air will take game three and the set. Good stuff to my ankles, though. All right, and we got some more action coming up for you, but in the meantime, I 